Flight Radar 24 is one of the best ways to track any aircraft in the world. From live flight information, the airport's arrival and departure boards, to aircraft alerts, Flight Radar 24 is the premier flight tracking app out there. Today, we'll assess the app's features, layouts, and all the functionality you need to be familiar with. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started, everybody. Alrighty everybody, so welcome to our assessment on Flight Radar 24 today. I hope all of you are excited for this, as today I'm going to walk you through one of the industry leading flight tracking apps out there. So, really excited to take a look at this. I've been using Flight Radar 24 for over 10 years now, and it is truly an incredible app with so many various functions and features that I definitely think are worth highlighting. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can download it on iOS, Android, or you can get it online as well. Here's what the app profile looks like. Nearly 500,000 reviews on the App Store, and it has a 4.8 rating so that definitely shows you how it is and it's also the 28th most popular app in the travel section so absolutely incredible with a variety of features here we are on the main home page and i'll kind of show you how to get this all set up and orientated but first and foremost the primary objective of flight radar 24 of course is to be able to track all kinds of aircraft so for some really cool facts to think about flight radar 24 is actually a swedish internet based service that shows the real-time flight of these aircraft which is super cool and they also have over 40,000 connected receivers for ads ADSB out, which is just absolutely incredible. And you can track over 200,000 flights a day, and there's over 4 million users as well. So, thinking about all this is incredible and how they've got here. This app was launched in 2006, and you can kind of see the various functionality of it. So, here we are over the state of Oklahoma in the United States. So you can kind of see some of the various aircraft here that are currently flying around with labels and whatnot. So, obviously, you can zoom in and click any particular aircraft to take a look at it. So, in this example, we'll take a look at the Southwest 737. This is a 700 variant flying from Nashville to Burbank. And the UI is very friendly. So on the top left, you have important information like the flight number and the airline. And then obviously, as you move down, you have the route, how long ago it departed, when it's arriving, the aircraft type on the bottom left. You have jet pictures, photos on the top right. So those are from jet photos. So that's a really cool partnership they have to show you what livery the aircraft is. And you also have the altitude along with the ground speed and the registration of the aircraft. You can do various functions from here, including get a 3D view. You can take a look at its route. And then what most people will use this more information here in the bottom middle. So this gives you additional information about the aircraft, including its arrival and departure times, along with recent flights for the flight number and the aircraft. You can also take a look at the speed and altitude graphs, among many other cool notes and features here as well. You can also follow the aircraft and then you can also share it to really any source that you want. So that's really cool to have all this functionality. So it doesn't end there though, it's really cool. So we'll take a look at more aircraft here in a moment, but I wanna show you some other essential functions of Flight Radar 24. Let's go ahead and take a look at an airport arrival and departure board. So you see these icons right here. These are actually airports that you can utilize and take a look at their information. So here's the Tulsa International Airport where you have a general arrivals, departures, and on ground section. So it's really sweet to see all this. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the general. This will give you the airport's conditions, temperatures, wind, among other cool components. You can also see various other METARs and runway details. So that's really cool in the busiest route and departures from the airport. So definitely all of that is super helpful for airports you're unfamiliar with. On the arrival section, which is very popular, you can take a look at all the flights that are currently coming into the airport and that are scheduled within, I think it's 24 hours behind and 24 hours at after. So you can look at flights that are before and after. So you can see the load earlier flights, but for the example, we'll just look here at what we got in the immediate future. So you can see a variety of flights from American Southwest, Delta, and United here on a variety of aircraft types. These are all abbreviated. So E75L is an Emerald 175, a B737 is a 737-700, a B712 is a 717-200, and the rest explains itself. So obviously a nice variety of aircraft here. It'll also show you via a icon color, whether it's on time, slightly delayed, or majorly delayed. So you can see all the flights that are currently coming in are on time and should be arriving soon but let's see if we can find a delay here. So you can see Tulsa's actually been very fluid today. There's only been a couple slight delays from the cargo carriers. But for example, last night, you can see that there were several major delays, including flights from United from Houston, and you also have flights on American from New York and United from Denver that were delayed. So much so you can see this flight here from Denver was supposed to land at 11.39 and it landed at 2.14 a.m. the following day. So that's definitely really late. Southwest also had a late flight from Las Vegas over two hours late as well. So all this is really helpful. And of course you can click on these aircraft to get more information. So this gives you kind of what that 
aircraft view did previously, just with the times of departure and arrivals more emphasized. So that's definitely nice. Once again, the call signs, and then they have these very convenient buttons to take a look at the flight info along with the aircraft info. And you can also do a playback, which will show you the aircraft's current routes. So you can see here it is right here. It flew over Phoenix, then Albuquerque into Oklahoma. And as you can tell, it's about to land as we speak. You can also look at the aircraft November 505 Sierra Yankees information. So here's what the aircraft's currently doing. So today on October 14th, or sorry, October 15th today, my bad. The aircraft went from San Antonio to Los Angeles and then it went from Los Angeles to Tulsa. It's gonna go from Los Angeles, Tulsa back to Los Angeles and then it's gonna do a Tucson turn. So it's gonna to fly to Tucson, come back in the evening. And then lastly, it's going to go to San Francisco tonight. So a very productive segment for or a very productive day of segments for this aircraft flying halfway across the country and back to various times. So that's really cool to see. And it also will even give you information like the arrival gate and the baggage belt as well. So let's go back a little bit because sometimes the baggage belts that some days they load, some days they don't. So for example, you can see here this United 175 coming from Denver, arrived in the gate Bravo 8 and it parked at, or sorry, the baggage belt was number five. So it's really cool that gives you all that information and various other examples. Let's go to a hub so we can get an even more a pressing example of what this looks like, you know, in the full scheme of it. So this is the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. And you can see now we have all kinds of aircraft flying around, landing, taking off and on the downwind and all that. So you can see just like six rows of Delta planes here landing, which is impressive, six in a row. Now let's go ahead and take a look. And it's very detailed with regards to its actual position. Again, over 40,000 connectors for ADS-B, which is just unbelievable to think about. That's one of the largest in the world for any source. So a huge thank you to Flight Radar 24 over the last two decades for making this a reality for us, especially being free is just incredible. Obviously they have ads, but that's still, I can certainly understand that considering how much information we have here. So this is all very accurate down to a point with regards to the precision of where these aircraft are and where they are. So you can currently see that we have a front tier on the south side taking off and an American right there as well moving out. You can see we have a Delta A330 holding short after landing from Rome, actually A350. And you can also see that the icon sizes are different. So you can see that this aircraft right here is a 717 or a CRJ because it has the wings behind. But then you can also see like the 737 right here has the wings in the middle and it's also appropriately sized. So some overlapping aircraft like the A3, or sorry, A320, A321, 737s will all be the same icon. But let me see if I can find, and then you can see like here, the 757 obviously longer, so that's easier to tell. But then you can also see, I wanna see if I can find a A319 somewhere around here so I can show you what a 319 looks like because they're a little bit different ret ret uh, compared to the other frames. Here's an A319. So here it is going from Atlanta to Washington. The A319 shares the icon with the 175. So obviously it's not, you know, every aircraft's different, but how can they be different when they're already kind of small? So anyway, it looks really great. Now you also can add a variety of different map features and logo up your aircraft very differently. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So here's settings. Flight Radar Mint 24 has done an incredible job over time, making this as user friendly as possible. So you can have different map types. So you can have a standard map, you can have a satellite map or hybrid. I think hybrid works really well for us plane spotters because you can see what cities are around, where it is, you know, those references. So that's pretty important, I would say. And then you also have the aircraft labels. So you can just not have them at all if you want, or you can have the logo or you can have text labels. Text labels has came a long way. So you can actually have four, uh, four rows worth of information. So row one, as you can see, is the flight number. So here's what that looks like. So you can see DL195 and you can put aircraft types and all kinds of crazy cool information on this. So you can see here's just a variety of choices here for what you can put on your rows. So I think all this is really helpful and definitely great if you want to get a detailed analysis of what's going on with your airplane. In the current state, I just use the logo because I've done it for 10 years and I'm so used to it. And you know, it's, I can identify what's going on and just take an assumption. I think it's kind of fun to just, I don't know where our aircraft's coming from, so why don't I click it? You know, it definitely sparks my curiosity even more. So I think that's pretty cool. You can also toggle map brightness and you can also work with the day and night line as well, which is really cool. You also have air traffic control boundaries, which is great. And you got oceanic tracks, which obviously tracks all the flights going across water, which is very cool. You also got other really cool features like aeronautical charts and airport pins and obviously your location too. So that's all great. 
has it for the visibility. You can toggle all these sliders on for all these different features, which is super impressive that they have all that. So that's really helpful. And you also have various miscellaneous items here, including units, time zone, languages, aircraft speeds, among other information that's important when you're tracking aircraft on flight radar. So that's really cool. So as you can see, we have a variety of cool aircraft over here. We took a look at the aircraft air landing. Once again, it's very precise. You can see even this Coletta Air 747 is on the cargo lamp taxing in. But we also have this Delta 77 that just landed from New Orleans here. So location is very precise and it's really impressive what they've been able to do with Flight Radar 24 to make it as comprehensive as possible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Atlanta board just for fun. So you can see all these Delta airplanes. So a variety of CRJs, A320s, and even a couple of wide bodies on here too. Even a couple of Southwest flights from places like Greensville, Spartanburg can be found. And it's really cool to see all the variety. But here's a Delta A350, for example, coming in from Los Angeles, delayed about an hour. So it is really helpful and the times are very accurate too. I also love how it tells you if the plane's live or not, so you don't have to click on it to find that out. So yeah, it made, Flight Radar 24 has done an amazing job making the app as functional as possible, which is really awesome. Now let's go ahead. Uh, you can also toggle various features like rain and precipitation on the map as well. So you can see we have a thunderstorm here near Louisville. So I think that's kind of cool to have. And again, you can customize this to make it as personalized as you want. I just leave it, you know, obviously a little bit of information. Like it's kind of important to know if there's a thunderstorm going on for flight delays like here, I'm sure. Charleston Airport might have some delays or equivalents. So we'll just look at the board just to see. And as of right now, it appears the uh, Atlanta flight's probably not going to make it in on time. So you can definitely see kind of how that works. So yeah, it is cool to see and kind of learn about and all that. Now you can also see all the aircraft across the world once again. So here comes a huge push of transatlantic service. So all these flights are coming from Europe to the United States. You got the amazing Lufthansa A380 heading over the Washington Dulles right there and a bunch of Emirates A380s. This one's going to New York's Kennedy airport and again a bunch of different planes so it's really cool to see all the different tracks and i think it's really fun to just sit here sometimes and just think about what aviation is and this does a great job showing that you can see so many different airlines we have klm united american iceland air turkish finnair delta air canada and it's such an amazing app for plane spotting let's say if you lived in south dakota for example if you were somewhere in this area you can see that you have a united 737 over here a320 rather coming in from sacramento to chicago here so you can identify where it is you could use the 3d view all that you can also track its route which this helps out if you want a clear consolidated view of where the aircraft's going. So all that's really helpful. So there's obviously a variety of features you can use. Let's take a look at the weather here. So you can see, you can add all these different toggles to it to make it as detailed as you want, which is awesome. I got the North America radar here and you can also turn down its opacity or not. So you can obviously make it as visible or not visible as you want. You also have various filters. So you can toggle this for airline, airports, aircraft. This is extremely helpful if you're just spotting at one airport and just want it to toggle to that airport. I've used it several times. So let's use the Houston George Bush Airport, for example, and I want to select all the arrivals and departures and I can just apply it here. And then as you can see, now I can see all of what's coming into Houston. I don't have any other interference from other airplanes. So we have United 777 right here in the Star Alliance livery. That's what a special looks like, glad to found one. And you also see this ATI 767. So as you can see, this is what a special livery looks like. Flight Radar 24 does an amazing job designating it. So you can see United Airlines Star Alliance livery and you can swipe up here and it's obviously in the Star Alliance livery with the jet photos image. So it's really cool how all of that's categorized and really organized so that you know when specials are coming in. So that's really helpful for all those features as mentioned, so that's great. Okay, so as you can see here, really cool. You can clear it out anytime that you want. So that's great. And all of that's really helpful. And you also got a search bar up there and you can put a variety of different airport codes and routes in there and flight numbers. So all that's really helpful if you're looking for a quick search on what you're looking for. So that's really great and easy to use too. And once again, back to the filters. So you can see all that. You can also save filters. So if you want to track a particular airplane, it will give you an alert for when it takes off, which is very helpful. So for example, if I wanted to track this Emirates 777, or we'll do this United 145, which is number 14186, I would put in the filters 14186, and it would track it for me and let me know when it takes off and what it's doing and where it's going, which is great. So very helpful for special deliveries, or if you're tracking somebody and want to know when they take off, all of that's really helpful and great functionality for those reasons. Uh, here's more on the alerts. You can also get featured flights, you can get emergencies, all that. So all of that's really helpful. And again, huge thank you to them for making this a reality. And then last but certainly not least, you also have the playbacks here. So you can go back in time, which is super cool. So you can go, I, I guess it'll let you go 
back pretty far here. I guess uh, 2023. So this must be a relatively new feature. So you can go all the way back. And obviously they only have select time for it. But still super impressed that you could even think about the concept of going back and looking at the world. So man, Flight Raider 24 is incredible. I personally have a gold subscription so I can avoid the ads. And I want to support them because Flight Raider 24 once again has done an incredible job changing my life and my plane spotting and obviously being able to track people and stay up to speed. Once again, let's read this off again. The largest ADSB network in the world with over 40,000 connected receivers, over 200,000 flights a day and over 4 million daily users. I mean, that's just unbelievable to me. And I think it's definitely worth recognizing. Flight Aware is great, especially for general aviation. But the fact that this app is able to encompass all of it and it's even got so much better with military over time let me see if i can find a military offering here so i can show you what i'm talking about look at these 238s so we have shoot 12 which is currently working over the national forest here in arkansas it's just super impressive to see all the detail and how it's all came together here on flight raider 24 and it's really awesome and again you have a variety of private general aviation offerings so you can see the cessnas currently doing what they do best and then you have all the civilians so you can make this as organized as you want you can block aircraft and put them back on the amount of complex features that they have introduced on this app is incredible and i certainly applaud their efforts for making it a reality to be able to see all these aircraft as it's really great so you can see all of them flying all across the United States here, which is really cool. And just for some good variety, let's go to another continent. It's an evening over in the European continent. So let's go ahead and look at some of the last night pushes here. And then again, you can go to other sections of the world you may not be as familiar with and see some of the really cool aircraft that are flying from these islands back to Europe. So you got a bunch of EasyJet, TUI, Jet2, among other carriers. But let's go over to, why not France, for example, today? And you can see all the aircraft that are currently flying over and where they're going. So you can see we have British Airways, Air France, Ryanair, Vueling, you got Tap Air Portugal and all of these airlines. So it's just really cool to see them all and what they're about. And we even got this Airbus A300, which is really cool. And I haven't seen an icon like that before actually. So I'm actually learning myself, but really cool to catch a Beluga out of nowhere. I mean, it's just cool to kind of look around and see what you can find and all that. So I definitely think there's immense value to what we're doing here. And then various airlines that you may not be as familiar with. And even FedEx, it does have the 777s. This one just took on off from Milan, Italy, and it's coming back to Memphis. It'll be here late tonight. So. Uh, it will be exciting to see that come back. But again, it's just super cool to get to track all these planes and what's going on across the world and you know what what's up. So I just think that it's an amazing application with so many features and you know, somebody may know it every once in a while. I was like, oh, Flight Raider 24 glitched today or whatever. I'm like, well, when you think about it, 40,000 connected receivers, I think it's truly incredible that it even has the capabilities of tracking all these planes and not, you know, glitching out constantly. I think it's just incredible. Here comes a Southwest flight from Las Vegas to Tulsa as we speak. And it's just so cool to be able to utilize it for plane spotting, whether it's planes in the air or at the airport or whatever it is. I truly think that the app has done a tremendous job changing so many lives. It's just so cool once again to be able to track track all this and I give a huge thank you to Flight Raider 24 and their efforts over the last two decades to make this a reality so so cool to see they're a great company and I'm very excited for what their future holds and the new features I know they worked with companies like Infinite Flight in the past too to make flight models and whatnot and I think that's really cool in fact we can take a look at that as well which is going to be a little look at this American A319 for example if you go to the 3D view we'll be able to see the outside of the aircraft here let it load and there it is, the American A319 from Infinite Flight, which I think it's really cool that they're able to show where it is that one's flying over Guthrie Airport, I think is what that is right there. You have the Guthrie Airport. It's just so cool to see it, and you can zoom in, obviously, and take a better look at it, and I think it's just so cool. And you can even get a cockpit view and change it up a little bit if you want. So I think it's awesome, and it's super cool to see what's going on here in the realms of Flight Radar 24. So last feature to mention as well, you also have the AR in the top left. that will let you put it into the sky, and you can find the aircraft where your approximate position is, and see them a little bit closer so flight raider 24 has an incredible purpose i really hope all of you enjoyed today's video i'm so excited for the future of the app and i hope all of you are as well but hopefully this was a good introduction for anybody unfamiliar with it definitely go download it again i can't believe it's free but it is so you can do it as much as you want with it and it's an incredible app to find aircraft track them and just enjoy them overall so again i really hope all of you
hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to let me know. Definitely want to make more videos like this for services like Jet Tip, among others, and excited for what's to come here in the near future. Keep rocking Flight Radar 24. Thank you for changing so many lives. What an incredible impact this app has had, and definitely want to highlight that to the utmost importance of my capability. With that being said, that'll do it for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and one of you for watching. My name is Redder of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do you love and love you do? My name is Redder of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Redder of Aviation is signing off.